If you are a network engineer or network technician, you may want to work with the TAC engineers uh, frequently. TAC means technical assistant case. So I was working with the TAC engineer recently and I thought it's better to share this information out there so people can get benefited from this technique. TAC engineers normally ask a lot of show output from that device so they can analyze all the output and find out what is going on. So with regard to this show commands, he was asking, we need more information to continue with the troubleshooting process and I need this information. So when you issue this command, it's only one or two lines. This also around 10 to 15 lines. But if you issue this command, it will be more than 10,000 or 15,000 lines. But if you don't use this technique, what you have to do is you have to keep pressing your enter key for a very long time, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes minimum to get the output of this show command. And same with this command also. It, it has so much lines, you may want to press another 10 to 15 minutes. So to run all these show commands on a Cisco switch, it's going to take about more than half an hour for you. And it's a waste of, utter waste of time. To get this done, in two to three minutes, you need to change the terminal length to zero. Normally, the terminal length means when you issue a command, it only fill your terminal with so many lines. So after that, you need to keep pressing the enter key until you come to the end of your terminal window. But if you make your terminal window length to zero, what will happen is you will get all the output in one shot. You don't have to keep pressing the enter key. Before you issue the show commands, make sure you connect to your switch and go to your lock session and then save the session somewhere you need it. So when you issue the show commands, it will capture all the outputs. Just enter this command and you can issue the show commands and it will stop at the end of the output. So the first step is go to your terminal program and lock your session and then you come back to your show commands and issue one after other. But I normally save each show command as a separate text file. So it is very clear to the technician who is reviewing your output file. Before you change the terminal length to zero, make sure you issue this command, show terminal, include length, and find out what is the original configuration. Because after you complete all these show commands and get your output that you needed for the tag engineer, you may want to go back to your original terminal length. Because if yourself or someone else try to work on the switch afterwards, and try to issue a command, say show run, to look at, uh, for example, a provision statement that's normally at the beginning of the running config. If the terminal length is set to zero, it's going to stop at the end of the running config. So he has to scroll up to see what is on the top. So always when you do this customization for a particular purpose, make sure you go back to your original configuration. So let me show you what happened when I issue this command. You can see the output is running for a very long time. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification.